Hi guys, Happy New Year. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you all had a fabulous Christmas and New Year's. This is my two minute Tuesday. But before all that, I want to talk about these really quick. These I will be giving it away in a free giveaway at the end of the video. Um, these were made by my wonderfully talented brother Patrick. I'll talk about them more at the end, so please stay tuned. <laughs> Okay guys, so today's Two Minute Tuesday is on a question that I get asked all the time in social media. What's the difference between oracle cards and tarot cards? Two minutes on the clock, let's do it. Okay, so the first point is the number of cards in a deck. All tarot cards across the board will always have 78 cards. No difference, universal rule. Oracle cards, on the other hand, they can range from as much or as little cards as the author requires. This one in particular has 55 cards. I have decks that have 30. I have a deck that has 68. It changes from deck to deck. Point two is that with tarot cards, you have to learn 78 individual meanings for each of the 78 cards. So they're a lot more in-depth, a lot more technical. With, with oracle cards, uh, you have little small messages of guidance on most oracle decks that you can get a general gist of the reading from when you're doing a reading. So you don't have to be rifling through books just for seeing what cards mean. So point three is all about variety. With tarot cards, they come in a range of different themes, but they all have the same set structure for each of the decks, and they all have the same 78 cards. With oracle cards, there's a huge, wide range of variety. I mean, I've got tarot cards based around crystals, I've got my Kyle Grey Angels and Ancestors, I've got lots of different themes and each card in every deck is always different, there's no similar cards. Point four, generally when I'm doing readings for clients, if they want to know, know kind of short-term type questions like what, give me some guidance for the rest of the week, I would suggest oracle cards. For long-term questions such as what will happen if I leave my job, um, and kind of deeper questions like that, I would definitely suggest tarot cards because they're a lot more intense and they get really down to the nitty gritty stuff. And point five guys is the big difference that I noticed between the two types of cards. Oracle cards are far better for beginners. They're way more straightforward, um, easier to read, can't do much wrong with them. Whereas if you're kind of pursuing card reading as a career, I would suggest learning tarot as well because uh, they give a lot more deeper insight to, qu to clients' questions. Um, and it takes an awful lot of practice to get the hang of tarot cards bef without looking up the meanings. Um, so that's a very important one if you are pursuing it as a career. Did I make it in two minutes, guys? I do like to talk. Okay, guys, I got to show you these because they're just fabulous. These books were made by my wonderfully talented brother, as I said, Patrick Kinsella. This first book here is called The Fabulous Fairy Finder's Journal. And it's fantastic for kids because it's literally a journal for recording what fairies they see so it's brilliant beautiful artwork in it um great things to fill in keep them occupied for hours and hours so that's the first one. Second one here is called tranquil tresses this is an adult coloring book give it to kids if you like but it's i mean adults get more fun out of it sometimes so beautiful artwork in there beautiful images of all these lovely ladies um Great for, I kind of like to colour for meditation purposes. It kind of stones me out a little bit, so I like that. So that's the second one. Next one is a nice one for Christmas or all year round, really, whatever you think yourselves. This is called Snowflake City. And this is a nice, colourful book here for kids. Nice little story inside. Brilliant artwork there. These are all available on Amazon, folks, and I'll post all the links to these. But I will be doing a free giveaway on these particular three books. So all you got to do, you don't need to like or share or anything like that. All you need to do is comment with your name and all the names will go into a hat and I'll do the draw then. Okay guys, that was my two minute Tuesday. Thanks a million for watching. I've got a lot of big exciting things coming up. So please stick in there with me and I can't wait to go on the journey with you. I'll be doing the free giveaway in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. Keep an eye on all my social media. Uh, I want to say... Um, I want I want you guys to have a great start to the new year. Keep motivated. Keep doing all those goals that you want to crack out for yourself. Keep watching my videos. I'm going to have a couple of little surprises throughout. Lot of, lots of free giveaways going on throughout the year. So it's hugely exciting. You won't be disappointed. I can't wait to share it with you. Thanks for watching, guys. Love and light.